welcome back to the channel guys thanks for joining me today we are going to do chicken with unqualified success of the last cooking in the air fryer video i have decided that i am going to now document and try to give you a little bit of information about how to cook using this newfangled thing that we call this air fryer well newfangled to me anyway and to be honest i have lost let me see because i was getting fat you know i had the covid fat going on you should see my stomach i had put on something like 25 pounds i won't lie to you for all of you who know me and know that i was this felt 215 i had put on a little weight some get fat anyway so the idea being that if you use the air fryer it essentially removes most of the fat it has a section at the bottom where the fat drips down sort of like one of those old four-man grills but you know better than that so today i am going to do chicken breast and i have already seasoned up the chicken breast i had it in the fridge from last night already well seasoned and everything so you can see how it's done right there all right so that's where we are now now me personally i like to mix up my seasoning and oh yeah there we go so we can do a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning even though it's a steak seasoning you drop a little bit and it is just a matter of going to taste now let's face it you can't do anything without having your pimento and uh, they call it all spice over here we have some barbecue chicken seasoning right here and as you can see this is my spice cupboard by the way all sorts of things up there and while we are at it look what I have the found to know what that is it's a the genuine thing comes straight from the Dominican Republic vanilla real thing you know see there anyway that now I have nothing to do with anything but since I sit there I am going to show it to you now I have all these other stuff here now you see you have your southern barbecue style and I got some smoky sweet well essentially by the way this is just pepper so no matter what they say and uh, this piri piri and this paprika for those who do not know what paprika is paprika is actually a type of pepper that is grown almost exclusively in spain so i know enough people always say but then paprika thing i mean what is it now you know what paprika is okay so we have all sort of things here too around the back here hiding we have this um as that maple bacon so that imparts a little bit of a bacon flavor to whatever you want to do so as i said my spice cup but it's full of all kinds of things so what i have done whenever i want to get a particular type of flavor let me show you what i do i get i have this handy dandy little thing here and what it is is a grinder so i mix generally the types of spices that i want i put them together in this grinder then this is what happens check it out no, let's use it. I'm not so fussy about that little light. But, you see it? Bam, you turn it upside down, the thing stops. You turn it the other way, the thing starts going again. And this is very handy. I don't remember how much my wife paid for it on the internet, but it has served its purpose. Use four of those triple A little batches on the inside. And this, this battery here lasting about six months now, and I use it almost every day. Alright? So here we are, and this is where we are. So as it grinds along we are going to take the chicken out the chicken has already been seasoned as i said before and we are going to get this thing going so here we have uh, we have our scale as usual we are just going to see how much chicken it is i didn't really wait i'm only going to do two chicken breasts today and i'm going to grab two at random see how much that is that's 12 ounces, 12.2 ounces. The second one. So total, one pound, 7.2 ounces. And that is what we are going to cook in our air fryer today. So as you can see, the Ninja air fryer has been heating up. We've been warming it up for a bit now and it's on it was on high and it's on grill and it says add food now i am going to essentially i usually don't do it on high i put it on medium whenever i'm doing chicken and for medium and chicken believe it or not it goes to let me open this and close it back there we go so it picks itself no that's on 10 minutes uh for medium i put it on 17 
minutes. Let's see if we can get this thing here going. All right. So normally for medium, I put it on 17 minutes. So that's what it looks like. And we are going to just get the ball rolling. As I said, it's going to be 17 minutes. And at the end of 17 minutes, we will come back and see what it looks like. Now one of the cool things about this little machine is that around the midway point when you're doing a grill it generally gives you a little beep and says turn so we are going to do that and of course this is what it looks like around the midway point so we're just going to give it a quick little flip right there and a quick little flip right there See, it's all nice and pretty much grilled on that side and we are cooking with grease again or rather without grease because as I said I have been losing quite a little bit of weight on this because of the reduced fat content that your food will offer from cooking in this particular ninja foodie and uh, this is not an ad for ninja foodie but if they want to sponsor me I wouldn't mind all right so we are a little bit past the halfway point and we'll be back when it's done okay then that is 17 minutes that's our 17 minutes up so let us see what it looks like on the inside and as you can see it does look rather grilled okay let's see if we can turn it over look at that beautiful that looks delicious now the recommend recommendation generally is that you leave this in on the hot grill and let it simmer and just sort of just cool down for another four or five minutes so we are going to do exactly that and then we are going to come right back so while that is going on I am going to whip up one of my personal salad no I'm not a big salad guy so I am just going to show you what I like to do to get myself into the whole salad mode all right so you know here you are your general normal Caesar salad so what we're going to do with that and this is this is just a little blender thing so I take a little bit of that let's get rid of that I don't need that and I put a little bit of that in here as I said I'm not a big salad guy. now here's my carrot so I'm going to peel my carrot not a lot of it of course because as I said you know but I'm just going to show you what I like to do and my wife absolutely loves it so I kind of just put that together so it all goes into this little this is more of a, a chopper and not much of a blender all right so I get my little tomato also now I'm going to open it and remove the seed section and you just simply just squeeze the thing see all squished and it's one of those hard tomatoes the little hydroponic tomatoes and they got this really thick flesh and it tastes pretty good so this is what I'm gonna do now I have my sweet pepper I'm not gonna put a lot of it in there and normally I would drop a bit of cucumber in here look at that beautiful nice and fresh All right so I'm just gonna cut that up here um, oh I guess we lost a little piece all right so here we are bam 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 and this is just quick and easy all right put that here i put that on 
Ah, forgot to plug it in. Usually that doesn't work unless you plug it in. Okay, there we go. See that? Look at that. It's as quick and as easy as that. Now, check it out. Very, very easy, very, very quick. Now, let's get this out of the way for a minute. Get my bowl here. Okay, now, see, got a little bit of ranch dressing right there. And the recommendation, at least the way I do it, I put, because you have to measure these things, right? Because there's a lot of fat in this and a lot of people want to know how much. So I put this, as you can see, is a double tablespoon. Um, all right. To give it a little bit of zing. So we got our honey mustard and we won't put a lot of that. Uh, a second. Here we are. Just going to put a little bit of honey mustard in there maybe a teaspoon and we're good to go you may like it you may not like it but you won't know until you try right Ugh, that's getting all over the place and we have a it's a salad really that's all it is really and it's a beautiful salad and it is delicious then what we can do can go for our cheese and get our plate here we get a so this is how you would serve it beautiful isn't it and so that is what it looks like on your plate and uh, that's how you would serve it and if you want to get a little bit fancy you then get a little bit of grated cheese and beautiful isn't it Okay, now we are now going back to our chicken. It has been sitting for around five minutes. So as you can see, it's beautifully done. There you are. There's our chicken. And for the moment of truth, let's see what it really looks like and what it really tastes like. And that is beautifully done. totally cooked right through and let us see absolutely delicious and if you can you see the juices just stripping it's beautiful that's absolutely beautiful Mmm. Yeah. That is what a juicy chicken breast really tastes like. Well, I'm just saying my piece. Thanks for watching. And do not forget to like and subscribe to what is rapidly turning into a cooking channel. Or rather, it's a cooking channel using the foodie air fryer. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Oh, that's good.